Uh, standing by at the Register Building in Santa Ana, Orange County Register Economist for OC Outdoors, <laughs> David Whiting. David, how are Hi, you? Dave. Terrific. So, you took a little trip to Yosemite. Now, what? I'm kind of curious how it is to visit this time of year. Well, I was surprised. My daughter was up there in December, so I was a little worried because she, she was in two feet of snow and that was on the valley floor. I checked the, the uh, temps, though, for this time of the year, and I assured my in-laws who wanted to go check it out for the first time that it would be in the 50s and 60s, and it was in the 50s and 60s. So it's a great time to go to Yosemite, and you avoid the crowds. That's the big thing. You avoid those, all those cars in the summertime, drive right into the park, and you can see forever. This is Half Dome looking through the valley for you. Come out of a tunnel. And if you're going into the park, wait until you leave, because if you cross the street there, it's a little bit dangerous to park, although you can also park on the right side. Great view of the valley. Don't miss this. It's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Here's a little bit of closer view of Half Dome and uh, just a wonderful, wonderful day. This was when we were leaving the park. Oh, and uh, this is the, the falls there right now. It's also it's a great time of year because they are full. This is... Bridal Veil Falls, of course, one of the most famous falls in the park, that in Yosemite Falls. And uh, it's just coming down in buckets. The snow is melting. And so the best time to look at these falls is really right now through the middle of May. And uh, it's just fabulous. Ha uh, El Capitan, 3,000 feet of elevation gain here. Not too many people climbing it at this time of the year because the nights are a little chilly in the valley. It's going to be probably 35, 40 degrees at night. But still, hey, that's not too bad. So uh, we cool. just had a great time. Beautiful. Uh -huh. um, I have to ask, though, I have eaten at the world-famous Awani but have never stayed there. You actually uh, stayed there, or your family did. Is it worth the hefty price tag? The hefty price tag is $500 a night if you include the, the, the room tax. So it's about $479 plus some, some gratuities and taxes. You know what? It's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't say that because my father-in-law, it was a gift to uh, he and to my wife and I, and, and we, we went up there with them. We got adjoining rooms, so we had a terrific, terrific time. It was a great family experience. But I'll tell you, if I was paying that kind of money, yes. I'd stay in one of the, in either go to the Yosemite Lodge. It's half the price, or even better yet, uh, you can get a cabin in Curry Village. It's about $169 there, or a, a tent cabin is 79 bucks, mm -hmm. or staying on the on the floor uh, camp valley floor, bring your own tent. It's yeah. $20 a night. <laughs> so go visit the Iwani, but don't. <laughs> Don't spend the Don't night. Don't spend the night, yeah. Best deal. How is it uh, for, for us older folks? Well, that's, that was kind of, kind of the neat thing. I checked out uh, Yosemite a couple of years ago. I'd been there as a kid, but not for a long time. And it really is friendly for everybody. Um, and I wouldn't include... And you can uh, you can be hiking and running up Half Dome, as far as I'm concerned. But <laughs> but for the really old folks, for the my father-in-law, who's um, getting close to 90, as a oh. matter of fact, yeah. all the paths down on the valley floor, they're pretty flat, they're paved, and you can always turn around whenever you want. And the best thing is you don't have to drive. There's a shuttle, a free shuttle every few minutes. It'll take you wherever you want. So it's really friendly for everybody, and that's why it makes the valley floor, in particular, such a great family vacation. Now, you mentioned um, taking the shuttles. Did you take one of those shuttles with the, the little guy in the microphone, and he tours you around and shows you the redwoods and does the, the whole bit? I did not. We passed on the actual guy, uh, tour um, shuttle, although I hear that's a great experience. We did go to the visitor center. You get a great, uh, a great movie there, just 23 minutes, and it's worth it. It really gives you a great perspective of how Yosemite was formed through some cool animation. You see it at the different times of the year, so I would recommend that. And, of course, there's also the Ansel Adam Galleries, and he's one of my favorite photographers, yeah. so that's a lot of fun as well. Yeah. I know next week you're going to talk more about, uh, give us some tips. Any, any little tip you can give us right now? Yeah, the best tip is jump online right now because many, of, many folks will want to go see it during the summer because that's when our kids, of course, are out of school. Right. But go online right now because it fills up fast, and you can just Google for Yosemite, and it'll take you right to the reservations. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. David, as usual... We appreciate it very much. Uh, wish we'd been along. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, David.